what's that weekend look like, man? It's Looks Friday. Great. Pressure's look, on. It's awesome. Uh, well, I think I can deliver this can time. You okay. I can deliver this All time. Right. Yeah. In fact, let's start you out with a few headlines. A weekend looking great. You're planning something outside, getting together with friends. I know it's only early February. Maybe you want to fire up the barbecue or something like that. Well, tonight, still have some clouds out there. Slow clearing, but the clouds will clear. We have bright sunshine both days, Saturday and Sunday. Temperature-wise, above average. We should be at 42 when we're looking at the normal this time of year. We're going to go probably 45 tomorrow, 47, 48 on Sunday. So I wouldn't call it warm, but for this time of year, especially compared to where we've been, things are looking really good. Right now around the area, things are quiet. The clouds are there, but they are high. They're not these low-level clouds that are you know, causing some issues with fog or anything like that. 41 degrees in Philly at this hour, upper 30s elsewhere. You got 38 specifically for Redding and Trenton, right at or slightly below freezing for Mount Pocono. Otherwise, everybody is above freezing. Once these clouds clear out, that will allow the temperatures to drop on down, but we're not expecting anything of significance. In fact, the future cast is a little bit quick to bring the clouds out, but what it does is it shows you it continues to erode those clouds, and during our day tomorrow, they just dissipate, and we have a lot of sunshine, a little bit of a breeze out of the north. Shouldn't be a windy day, but just a light breeze, so it will be a bit on the cool side if you're going to be out, but with the sunshine, I don't, I don't think any of you are going to mind that. Then check it out. We get into Sunday. Same thing. I'll just kind of run this through the day. A passing cloud or two, but both days, once again, are looking dry. If you have Something you want to do on either day, they're good. I'd probably say Sunday a little better than Saturday, only because it will be a few degrees warmer than that. And then on Monday, we're going to continue this pattern too. It's looking really good. So let's break it down for you region wide here in the city. 45 tomorrow, 48 on Sunday, and then back down into the mid 40s for your Monday. All three days are dry and sunny. How about the shore? Same thing, same kind of a pattern. We'll go 43 of just a touch cooler tomorrow, mid 40s on your Sunday, 41 for your Monday, and then the mountains. Same pattern, a few passing clouds tomorrow. We'll keep it sunny and obviously a little bit cooler. If you're heading up to the slopes, you want to get some skiing in, great conditions for that. They're not going to be making much snow, at least during the daytime hours, certainly. It's not cold enough for that. Overnight, though, there could be some snow making up there because temperatures will drop on down probably in those mid to low 20s for the Pocono. So if you're a ski lover, snow lover for the mountains, that's good as well. All right, so here's the deal as we look ahead in our seven day forecast. So dry, as I mentioned, the next three days. We're going to be in this pattern. All this week, I was showing you that, that big storm that's out in California. That's going to go to our south on Tuesday. We're not expecting it here. But as it passes by, it will draw some cooler air in. So Tuesday, dry, but just back down to 42. And then the end of the week, guys, mid and upper 50s. We have to watch this. So we could possibly get a 60. We'll keep an eye on that with our next chance of rain. Not for a week. Mm. 